Hey guys, so we are heading to Bristol from Bath at the moment. This is British. Say hi to the camera, hey. man. Say hi hey, to the man. camera, say hi. <laughs> so actually, this road is much busier than we expected. There are a lot of cyclists on the road. And then he gets very scared. Yeah, so, he's so scared so. now. Yeah, his first time riding that 30 kil kilometers as well. <laughs> you want to say something? So now we are taking a bit rest, halfway through at Fishbourne. Many people think that cycling on the national cycle route is very safe, but it does have its own risk. Like the curves are too sharp, the tunnels are too dark, the roads are too small for two lanes, or simply some people just don't know how to ride a bike properly. In this case, I still don't understand why these kids kept cycling on the wrong side of the road and their parents behind them had to apologize me for that in the end. The Clifton Suspension Bridge is a world-famous suspension bridge over the River Avon, linking Clifton in Bristol to Lay Woods in North Somerset. Except from pedestrians, horses and cyclists, any types of vehicles crossing this bridge has to pay a specific toll, which is one pound per single crossing. The bridge is around 100 meters or 330 feet above the water level. So after having crossed the bridge, I'm going downhill now with around 35 miles per hour on this 14% steep road. Despite the fact that Bristol has many steep hills, there are still a lot of bikes around the city, together with a huge number of bike lanes as well. So yeah, the total distance from Bath to Bristol is only around 3 kilometers, which is less than 20 miles. If you live around the area or have a chance to visit Bristol or Bath in the future, I strongly recommend taking this beautiful national cycle route, and I'm sure that you will never ever regret doing that. 
So thank you for watching and remember to hit the like and subscribe button for the upcoming videos about my cycling trips around the UK. See you soon.